um, going back to this notion of walking through the door, encouraging the young reader to not allow there to be a wall, but to find that door. So here's a few thoughts I want to leave you with. The best thing I think we can do for the young reader, the teenage reader, is one in which they're never patronized, where they're challenged and pushed. And that may mean challenged and pushed beyond their clan, beyond what they hold on to, pushing them towards another, someone else's experience. I want to think of the library as a home that's capacious. It offers a room, yes, in which they can recognize and see themselves, especially those young people who feel invisible. But I also hope the library is a home that offers a door into lives and voices they never knew existed. The worst, the very worst, is to assume that young people want only to read about themselves, to reinforce that narcissism, to reinforce all the borders and boundaries and divisions we already have, as they know themselves that we only offer them books that are simple and pure mirrors. To me, that's consigning them to a room. It's like if you've decided to paint the wall black, you have to live in that room with the black wall forever. We all need homes. We need libraries in which we can roam, where we can, like it or not, be changed just by opening a door that we didn't even know existed. Thank you.